friends today i'm going to show you one more thing this is our uh, dell laptop uh, it's a dell inspiron 6000 model here you can see uh, this model dell 6000 uh, same like another model 8000 4000 and uh, sometimes hp models acer models and toshiba a lot of laptops uh, whenever com customers complain when we plug in the hair charger once we plug the charger in here then it's get shut down it's automatically uh, you can see i plug one i plugged in my charger will go click 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 short circuit it show on the short circuit you can see it's a damp in here this is the automatic charger system that's why you cannot uh, see this only show the red light and it's uh, like a shutdown and the reverse voltage is going so let's i show you how to verify how to clear how to fix this short circuit in the dell laptop you can same thing you can uh, use for other models also where else you can find out the short circuit okay. uh, dell laptop first of all we are gonna open it let's i show you open this is the clip that you push inside and then you can take out the battery and and uh, here's a bed screw, uh, screws for the hard drive another screws in here we have to all remove out you can see i remove first this is one two and we have electronic screwdriver that's why we are doing some very fast this job because uh, uh, why we are doing this one very fast because we have a uh, much experience we are doing every day this job that's why very fast can open you can see all screws can go out and then serum push out you can remove the serum and screws also go out all screws are open this also you open check any screw have a bottom or not this is all this is a hot frame hot drive we pushed out like this you can see any other thing else in here no no other screws this is the board motherboard uh, related parts it's a ram memory card so we don't need to remove these things we just turn like this this computer and when we are turned we gonna open first this thing this is the part we are gonna open it Get user all laptops have a dell inside the one edge edge here this can put like this and push and any screwdriver or any other thing else you can put and pull Another screws we remove the screen screws this won't come out the keyboard screws we have to remove first keyboard we have to remove the motherboard that's why we are opening all the things you can see how fast it's going up uh, this is the thing that you can see the screwdriver hinge screen hinge this is the screw that I'm opening four screws is a cable here we pull up like this this cable clip pull up like this this is the screw just now we open and this is the cable move it like this like this like this and this is the wi-fi cables this also need to open you can see the wireless card cables pull up like this it's come out yes press another screw side all the screws are open screws are open so this is the cover we remove this is the cover back we remove out and now internal motherboard parts also we have to remove because we want to remove the motherboard that's why we open all the things these all screws won't be open you see this is related to motherboard and any other screws are related to motherboard and we have to remove this card also because below there is a one of the screw have another screw no we open the this uh, graphic card this is the display card also inside they use the graphic card and we remove like this you see this is the clipped inside and this is one another part this also we have to remove that is uh, related to the body we have to pull out like this this is have a check inside check type see this part also removed okay remove these cables 
to remove it first this also missing for the processor this is as you can see the condition of cpu fan how dirty this is you can see what's the condition here that i was mentioned in the last video so dusty and later on we process this work first we have to check with the motherboard what is happening like this it's come out you can see this don't push so hard this side have a sound jack and usb port that's uh, come out from the side you can see the hinge is, uh, the faces is outside so we put like this one of the pitchy thing and pull up like this and this is the way the things can come out that's it this is our motherboard is a come out okay let's see you can see in here directly this part is a burn already in here always this dell laptop motherboard burn in this area this model mostly so we are gonna clean up this one show this part is a dead already we remove this part we clean up the short circuit and then we see what is a happen and other anything other anything else short or not so let's i show you first of all this laptop we are gonna this board we are gonna clean up like this with the brush remove out all the dust both side clean up all clean out we have to use uh, some kind of alcohol on this place to make it clean. The circuit we want to clean up. As you can see, this is we drop it alcohol. Then a few seconds you leave it on top and with a small brush we clean up this one. As you can see this motherboard is get shine. This area, this is the part is actually shot. So later on we take out. I show you first how is the shot. First I burn circuit is a clean up. This was very dusty and burn. So that is clear now. Okay, let's I show you how to check this part. It's short circuit. Okay, guys, this is our multimeter. Uh, we gonna check it. We put the X10 range. Uh, you can see this is on X10. This is X1, X10. This is the resistance range. There we we can check the short circuit. So this is our part. We will verify first. We check it. The is it our meter is giving accurate reading we put like this and you see the needle must be on the zero a little bit you can adjust by uh, this volume so this is exactly on the zero now you can see we can read it on the zero so now we are gonna check it the this part this part if short circuit is mean short uh, this, uh, this is the thing is a short how to check it short these capacitors normally when we check check in the normal condition there's a no reading I mean if we touch like this part there's a no reading come out but if reading come out it's mean there's a, some circuit reading if full reading it's come out it's mean this is the short circuit so we're gonna show you uh, this is a, uh, my circuit part that I wanna go to check this is the circuit and you can check this side you can see it's going zero the needle is go on zero when I remove out actually this is the phase point and this is the ground point the ground point this part we call it the catalytic capacitor uh, this is a very special capacitor that is a, in a new technology the motherboards they are using this is a very good quality parts but this is also giving a safety of the motherboard but this also get overheat also short circuit also uh, a long time when you use it after that you can uh, this capacitor can short and this is the thing happen with this motherboard we can check i show you again this is the normal part this is another capacitor we check in here it's a no reading you can see it's half reading this is a circuit board reading you can see we can check another side also a little bit more this is a diode reading transistor reading that is using inside so this part one we check it's full it's go on a zero it means this is the part is a shot you can see and this is also shot like this you can see it's go on zero it means this is a short circuit only this part shot this layer if show like here also here also nothing nothing show short you can see it's free only this part is showing here short it means this is the short circuit so this is the part we are gonna remove out and we take out let's we on our blower and i show you how to take out okay guys this is the part i'm going to take out we can put the temperature on 400 centigrade and we can we have to put for a while like this and this is the user that we are gonna remove out with it For a while we have to put like this to uh, get it heat. Okay guys, 
you can see this is the part that come out it's removed out this is the capacitors that just now we take out this is the short part you can see it's burn already almost from uh, bottom it's a black part so we're gonna change it like this another part okay this is the part we take out i'm going to show you this is i check outside again how to verify this is a shot or not i focus it a bit okay this is the part we are going to check outside you can see this is the capacitor outside also is the both side have a full reading you can see this side also and this side also the both side is having a full reading this means this is the part is a shot Okay, this is the thing how we can check in the short circuit okay, that part was a short uh, we're gonna check the motherboard and other sides and other things have a short inside or not so let's we check one by one in here multimeter here you can see I put like this there's a half reading quarter of reading this side no reading this part okay this side uh, the second IC regulating IC there is a uh, clocking to operate for the CPU voltage one side have a reading another side a little bit okay this circuit is okay it's been uh, only this part was a shot that's uh, creating the problem in this motherboard sometimes this part is a burn can blast sometimes it's a cannot blast out i mean this this is the uh, you can see it's burn and flow out the part its color actually is a brown but it's a dark black it's like uh, like you can see the fired the things then uh, uh, color is a change is like, like carbon type that is the reason that is the thing that is a short circuit and that uh, computer was wasn't on so we're gonna plug in the uh, charger and we check it again i gonna plug in the charger i show you okay guys this is my charger i gonna plug in you can see in here very clearly i plugged in no sound appear no charging uh, short circuit show in the my charger and when we this is temporary i take out the power switch panel i plugged in here and i try to on it like this oh yeah it can on you can see your computer is working now you can see the power light the charging light is i can show system is on so i plugged in the this is the vj card one time and externally and i show you to how we, we check the display also just for our testing only we are gonna do this thing guys the graphic card i plugged in for the temporary reason to check it and uh, this is the screen i plugged in and i want to show you i just on the power first and see any display appear or not oh yes you can see the dell logo and there's the intel central centrino mobile processor and this is the thing that i want to show you we can check it we can repair it and uh, this is the easy way uh, that i show you today short circuit how to verify the short circuit so how to clear up this one we clear it this one if we didn't put this part also it's okay if we put back the new part then that, that is also much better so for the safety purpose we put it back another new part same like this so then we close it back let's i show you i put back and i close it okay guys we are uh, gonna put back the new part in here uh, this is the exactly same part we have in here now this is the capacitor that we was uh, find out you can use this one from old motherboard also uh, same size if you use it it's been exactly it can work so this is the capacitor we have we are gonna put it back i show you how to do it little bit give the piece and we put in this place because this uh, board have uh, some extra places for the uh, parts if this part burn because the place also burn we can sold it back so we have another place we put it back here so that is exactly same thing it will work it's the same circuit same place uh, we are gonna use it we give it for a while heat you can see the temperature going high a bit and then it can move out on the soldering place so i think this is sit down yeah exactly sit down give a heat for a while only one two second uh, 10 to 20 second it's okay when it moved it sit down yeah that's it it's sit down already you can see it's exactly sit down that's it we'll fix it back our part so we're gonna close it and i will close it back and i will show you again before closing you must clean up the fan this fan is a very dusty we clean up this fan also with the brush you can see this one we have to hardly we have to close clean up this one 
I cannot clean in here on top because this is my working table so I have to clean up down guys this is the heat sink also uh, that was uh, using for the cooling fan then last video I was show you this is a very special part must be clean up this one this is very dusty because this is exhaust that is make uh, operate the cooling system and if this one stuck with the dust and it cannot uh, work properly so we have to clean up this one also even K we can see the another side also opposite you can see from the exhaust the another side also this is it's mean it's clean so we are going to fix it back one by one the things i will show you then one us uh, fix it back must put here the pasta this is a paste pulling paste for the head of the cpu this is a very important part you see uh, when we fix it back the screw you see we must put here some of the paste this is a very important part so we're gonna fix it back screwdriver through your door screwdriver both sides sit down fix it back this part before that we put it back the, this part first and this is the thing that we want last open you can see here on first this side that is very important screw side no so we are gonna put it back screws small screws here is a small size of the screws easy not long so then another screw that's it and then screw that's it and the last screws that's it Screw also come in here. You guys, uh, I'm gonna put it in here. I want the screw. So I think that's so for the yeah. That is from on top. So we're gonna make it sit like this. We push like this. Then we sit on place. Tighten the screws. That's it. Sit on properly. Yeah, exactly. We cover it back. We close it back and we check it. On top ideas. I'm going to close it back so I go to put back the screws and later on I show you how to uh, see the display I close it back and I show you again this is the computer you can see the display have the Dell 6 as far as 6000 that just how it was repaired that's the end of the this uh, our mission so hope you understand you like my videos and comments on me and comments on my videos and uh, feedback me if you are facing any other problem you can email me you can ask me another questions thank you guys